biofeedback in its simplest form is touching a hot stove and information being given to you that it's hot and you draw your finger back. So biofeedback is information given to you in the present to make different choices in the future. The earliest biofeedback machines put little devices on your fingers and in having these devices on your fingers they were actually able to read the warmth in your fingers and then determine what your heart rate is. Uh, I felt like the EPFX when um, Mary had an individual session with me was uh, very impressive in that it um, confirmed some food allergies and, and other issues that uh, I had suspected. Also it enabled me to have a little bit more self-insight into behavioral issues and, and things that um, after the session was completed I, I could honestly say I felt like it had given a, a pretty good assessment overall of, of where I thought I was and even brought to light some things that I hadn't con previously considered. The EPFX does much more than any other biofeedback equipment out there. As an FDA registered device, it can read your brain waves as well as read your heart rate and your blood pressure. So the EPFX literally scans your body and detects what's, vib what's off on in you in a vibrational way and it gives you the correct frequency vibration in order to help your body heal yourself. Remove the stressors and strengthen the body that anything that depresses our immunity system will eventually lead to cancer. In this particular therapy, the idea is to see your own arteries being cleaned out and help, therefore, in the healing of your own body. I would recommend the EPFX for um, uh, people that um, are on a, a journey of uh, self-discovery, uh, that may be looking for a, a better way to uh, address through biofeedback um, the areas of their lives that may not be immediately obvious through other types of medical testing um, or just for a way to complete their journey to more of a self-improvement. Um, it's been commonly said that the uh, uh, beauty comes from within and uh, once some of these issues are resolved really feel like uh, internally that those things will manifest themselves in a person's face and countenance and just their general overall well-being. Fight, flight, fear, fright. Whether it's physical or emotional, real or imagined, it's the same biological response in the body. So every one of us has a health challenge. The Center for Disease Control says that 85 percent of disease is caused by emotions. Let me, Mary Clement, help you achieve a higher degree of health.